I love art. I love art all the way around. This gives me a sense of purpose. I, I get up in the morning and I'm raring to go and I feel like I'm really doing something important. It was us a chance to do something different instead of categorize us as convicted felons and that's that. It gives them something to do in here to keep their minds off of I'm in a situation where I don't want to be in, no, be in a situation where you've been placed in to do your best while you're in here. If I wasn't doing stuff like this, I don't know what I ought to be doing out there on the yard. And it gives you a chance to get away from the, the negativity and the, and the daily struggles we face out here. Gets me away from everything and keeps me focused on what I need to do right here. And it's peaceful. I mean, there's, there's nothing like it. It's, it's really nice being able to come up here and just get out of your head for a while. This right here takes me away from everything and I enjoy it, you know, I enjoy it. The incarcerated program started in 2017 was the first one and it was ASU freshman project-based learning class about how to reduce recidivism in the state of Arizona and the ASU students decided that the art show was the way to go. That was the way to reduce recidivism. I was skeptical at first like that. In the research this would be stuff that maybe it doesn't reduce recidivism or don't divert resources to it and so I was like all right you, you all want to do this we'll do it. And it's been incredible. I, I'm a believer now. Like I'm full on art now. I don't have an artistic bone in my body, but to see the, the change on the inside and the, the contributions that have been made, it's been a really, really good experience. I've been painting for, uh, I probably started about 20 years ago, ever since I got locked up. If I can make something for my kids and send it out to them, that it would be, it would mean a lot more. I'm a cartoonist and I've been drawing all my life. This one here I was going to title uh, The Imagination for a Softer Generation. <laughs> uh, I paint Southwest mostly and uh, of course I, I love animals and I'm very fond of Native Americans. So uh, in both of these paintings I tried to show us in the eyes a sense of dignity and that extrapolates to uh, the ladies here, the women that are incarcerated, they really need dignity. And so that's what I was trying to express. I don't really have a name yet, I'm still debating on it, but uh, I kind of just, I wanted to do a, an eye and, um, and the reflection of the eye uh, show family. You know, no matter what, everybody reaches out for family, you know, their children, their loved ones. And it's, you know, painful to be away from them at times. It's called Keepsake. I did it for my daughter. So it's um, memories that we've made together that, um, that I'll never forget. Proceeds from these paintings go to a scholarship so they can, they can, for the formerly incarcerated and their families. I think it's just fabulous. It's a positive thing all the way around. If we can help them with that opportunity to be able to go to college and so on and so forth, yes, then it is, it is very helpful. And maybe possibly change their course of direction in life. It's an opportunity to give back while they're incarcerated and to do it out in the community. And so it's not just a show that's limited to the prison setting. We're actually hosting, curating a professional gallery. Some of these artists have never had the opportunity to have their work featured in that way. The thought of being able to get my artwork into a gallery, I mean, that's incredible. It means a lot. I kind of uh, jumped on the phone and told my sister about it, wrote my pops, and this is like the first time I've ever done something like that where my art's on display in front of numerous people. But it goes more than that when we're selling it and we're raising money for, for these charities that typically focus on youth and the family um, to divert people away from crime and incarceration. So it's an opportunity while you're incarcerated to potentially ensure somebody else doesn't go down that pathway. This is their opportunity to contribute to society in a positive way. And this is their opportunity as an artist to set forward their name as an artist. We don't get really many opportunities to do stuff like this and for them to sit there and go out of their way to let us paint and express you know, our, our art, you know, see other talents inside us besides just 
inmates in Orange. I want like my future people to know that I'm not just sitting in here riding away. I'm making something with my life. I'm doing something better. We have more of a hope in the future to being able to express things like this. This is my whole life. So being able to come up here and do this on a daily basis is it's been unreal. The way I had lived my life, I wasn't very proud of. To do something like this, gain a skill, and be able to pass that on to my kids, and them see the change in me and my growth, it, it'll inspire them to do so much more than what I've done.